Let's go here again at Gun Hill, St. George, Woody Lion statue, which was carried by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at Gun Hill Signal Station. This is the land statue here, once again. Which was carved in 1868. And the statue depicts the lion resting his paw on a big red ball, which is supposed to be a globe symbolizing the ending of British colonialism. Documented by Barbados. Yes, guys, we come back at the land statue at Gun Hill again. Yes, guys, up the hill will lead you back to Newberry via the parish of St. John with Newberry where the parish of St. John with four roads going on the bridge, Lama Arbor and also the St. John Parish Church and I will also leave you by the St. Joseph as well the two eastern parishes, St. John and St. Joseph So this is the lion sitting on the hill at uh, Gun Hill, St. George, which was carried by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at Gun Hill Signal Station. Down here we live by the Charles Road Bridge via St. George Parish Church and the Glee Polytechnic. I'm in the center of the island in the parish of St. George. St. George and St. Thomas are the two parishes in Barbados. In the center of the island, best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. And there is no sea nor coastline in these parishes. These are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados, best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. This is the lion statue on top of the hill. So many people visit this lion daily. Both locals and tourists. This lion is another historic landmark here in Barbados. We are many tourists. We are many people visit. Some people even spend time at the land. The land is just be in, in front of the, the signal station is behind the land which is known as the Gun Hill Signal Station 
which gives awesome views of Barbados from out of six out of the eleven parishes in Barbados can be found can be seen from the signal station. So as I said before, downhill now will be leading you back to Workman's, Tate Hill, Glee by the Polyclinic, Charles Royal Bridge by the Charles Royal Bridge by the Station and Chaffet Restaurant and back to the Glee Polyclinic as well. So the land on top of the hill, which we will get to shortly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So that's the St. George, the Miss Father's birth father. The parish of Miss My Father. Was born and raised, my father, one of my aunt. And two uncles. Or three uncles. One deceased. My father, for those of you who don't know who my father is, Satchmore, that sings what they got to give me for Christmas and I am a proud Barbadian. He is my father and he is from St. George. My father was also a songwriter, Satchmore. My father was a songwriter. He used to write songs for many people, such as Wendy Allen, Carolyn Leacock, Richard Stout. Um, well, so many others. My father used to write songs for, but then. Singing sometime other than the, uh, he stopped singing sometime other than the mid 80s or so. So, Satchmore is my father. Uh, he was born and raised in the parish of St. John, so the place is called Elephant. And if you get a chance, you can Google it. And if it sounds what we got to give me for Christmas, I am a proud Barbadian. And he wrote Beautiful and Unspoiled for Cheryl Hackett. I forgot to mention that. When she was singing about Barbados, Sarah Hackett. And he wrote. And he wrote um, A Thing About You by Wendy Allen. And the best part of my day by which I stout. So all those songs are written by my father. And, he, and this, as I said before, he's from St. George. So this is the beautiful masterpiece here, Lion Sculpture. Here at Gun Hill in St. George. To me, it is a beautiful sight to behold, especially when looking from the hillside. So the signal station is behind the land and it was carved, I mean it was it was established in 1818 as a fortress to signal when the enemies were coming in. But then it was later bought over by the Barbados National Trust in 1982. 
by the Prime Minister of Idea, Tom Adams, and it was opened on the 24th of November 1982 by Tom Adams, who was the Prime Minister of Idea. So Tom Adams opened Harrison's Cave and he also opened the Gunhill Signal Station. Thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening.